What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Five Wars Deke here. Gonna talk a little bit about this rumor I've seen floating around the Star Wars community here on YouTube. Uh, obviously, I'm a big Star Wars fan, if you did not know. Um, the Force Unleashed 3. Uh, apparently, it is sitting on a shelf somewhere, and they are contemplating releasing that game, uh, putting that out on maybe next gen, possibly. Uh, we don't need it. Uh, and, and before you guys say, what are you talking about? The Force Unleashed is great. You, you tripping, you tripping. Listen, I have the Force Unleashed on my PS2. That's the gameplay you're seeing right now. Okay, I love the, honestly, if I honestly had to think about it, the Force Unleashed is probably my favorite Star Wars video game of all time. I've played through the story more times than I can count. I had the game on my PS2. I had it on my PSP. My brother had it on his Nintendo DS. We love The Force Unleashed, okay? Here's the thing. Second game, <laughs> um, you and you guys should really, really see this video on, on YouTube. I don't know this guy, he doesn't know me, but Clean Prince Gaming uh, released a video over a year and a half ago about why The Force Unleashed 2 was so bad, which I think it is. Um, I remember, the amount of disappointment I had playing The Force Unleashed 2 and then finishing it in a few hours. Like, I did not expect to speed run The Force Unleashed 2. And I pretty much did. Um, kind of on accident. I was like waiting for a level to end because there was no like, go back to the ship and okay, where are we going next? And all right, let's, you know, pause here and this, that, third. The game just kept playing like a movie and it just kind of ended. Well, despite the disappointment of that anyway, here's this, um, it's not canon, right? When Disney purchased Star Wars, they declared what was canon and what wasn't. And they tried to make Starkiller canon. They really did. He's way too OP, like let's be honest. That dude is OP. In the first game, do you remember how you clapped up Darth Vader? Like you clapped Darth Vader. And then you battle the Emperor and you're going toe to toe with this dude like, yeah, you're the Emperor, but like, I ain't tripping. Like, bro, he had Palpatine on the ropes. The dude is OP. In the second game, as bad as the second game is, you're throwing and tossing starfighters, you're lifting star destroyers, like it's, n like, seriously, like ragdolls. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. He, he is OP. So, to me, we don't need a third installment of that story. Reason being is, fans are gonna be kind of confused because how can you declare something not canon um, and say this is part of Legends and then release a game after that line that, that Disney drew that said everything released after this date, which is sometime in like 20, what, like 13? After this date, everything released is canon um, the movies are canon and some of these, you know, games and series and these things are canon, but, um, the, the comics and the books and all that, right? It's, it's like if, like, if Shrek, okay, if Shrek was, um, part of DreamWorks, which it is, and then Disney bought DreamWorks and then they said, okay, we're going to do a Shrek three, but like, how do you have a Shrek 3? You know what I'm saying? It's different. Just like with Spider-Man. We did not see a Tobey Maguire movie inside the Marvel Universe. The, the, uh, or the MCU. Like, they, they drew a line there. They're like, nah, we're gonna make a whole different movie. So if you're gonna do a Force Unleashed, don't call it the Force Unleashed 3. Just make it the Force Unleashed and reboot it. And then you have to add in some canon elements. Like you're gonna have to add in Inquisitors. You're gonna have to add in, um, you know, maybe Ahsoka Tano. Um, because in the Force Unleashed one, you have, uh, what's her name, Mars Brood. Uh, and, and all these other, um, is Rom Coda now canon? Or, or is he gonna continue to be Legends? You know, what, what characters do you have to bring in there? Because a lot of these characters are no longer considered canon. And if you really wanna make Starkiller canon, well, why not everybody he's connected to? So, just reboot it. If you're gonna make The Force Unleashed, just completely reboot it and start it over. We don't need a Force Unleashed 3, because it just would not make sense 
Um, and I think it's kind of a waste of time to just say, hey, we're gonna release the Force Unleashed 3, but we're gonna put a message at the beginning that says, none of this counts in the Star Wars universe. This is all legends. Just consider this fan fiction. That just doesn't really make sense. Um, I would want that to be canon. If you're gonna really develop this game, wouldn't you want it to be canon? It takes like two years to develop a video game. So you would want that to be canon in the Star Wars universe. You don't want that to waste time. So I say, reboot the franchise, okay? You can bring Galen back, make him canon, but he cannot be OP. Like he can't. It doesn't, it doesn't fall into the canon Star Wars universe anymore. He's way, 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 way too powerful. Like the dude was incredibly powerful. No one should be that powerful. The way that, the way that they pull it out here in, in the canon universe, there's no way. Um, and also, will there be an interaction with Cal Kestis at this point? Because what is canon is Jedi Fallen Order, a game that I really, really, really did enjoy. Um, and I did feel like Fallen Order was the canon equivalent to The Force Unleashed because we needed a story between episodes three and four. You know, there's a long time between episodes three and four. I think 19 years, if I'm correct. So, you know, there's stories in that in that time in that time frame. And if Galen's story is not canon, then we get this Cal Kestis story. Well, you could possibly bring Cal in there, um, or. Or how about this, in Fallen Order 2, which I think is in production, you have Cal Kestis go on this journey, whatnot, he's finding other Jedi, and he finds a young Galen and sees how powerful Galen is, and maybe in that instance, they're battling some Inquisitors and you know this, that, and the third. Um, there, there's ways around it. It just, to me, just doesn't make sense to have a Force Unleashed 3. There's no need to have a second sequel um, to a game that is already considered legends and or we've kind of blocked that off as like, oh, none of that counted. So just don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, go ahead and, and comment down below. What do you think Star Wars should do when it comes to the Force Unleashed? Do they need to reboot it? Should they develop a third game and just say, hey, this is legends anyway? Or maybe incorporate that into Jedi Fallen Order 2. I feel like that could work out pretty well. But let me know, put your comments down below. Go ahead and hit that like button as well. It does so much for the channel. And thank you guys for watching. One love.